Hi, I'm Rabbi Jason Holtz from Temple Kilat Chaim in Roswell, Georgia. In this week's Torah portion, Vayetze, Jacob has a dream of angels going back and forth from heaven to earth, and then even hears the voice of God. This encounter surprises Jacob and helps him to start on a new journey. I'm so tired. I, the Eternal, am the God of your father Abraham and God of Isaac. The land on which you are lying I will give to you and to your descendants. And your descendants shall be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread out to the west and the east and the north and the south. Through you and your descendants, all the families of the earth shall find blessing. And here I am with you. I will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this soil. I will not let go of you as long as I have yet to do what I have promised you. Whoa! Whoa, God's in this place, I had no idea. Whoa. Jacob probably grew up hearing stories of God from his parents. Despite that, he obviously didn't expect that God's presence in his own life would happen. Jacob didn't encounter God in a synagogue or a temple. He wasn't searching for God. He wasn't studying Torah or any of that. He found God as he was on his way to meet the love of his life. Rachel, for the very first time. There's a lot of ways that people encounter God. For some, it is in a prayer service. For others, it's out in the wilderness. For others, it's with family and friends. One Jewish thinker said that God is anywhere that we let God in. How can we let God in? One answer might be doing mitzvot, fulfilling sacred Jewish obligations, such as honoring our parents, being kind to strangers, giving tzedakah, or doing acts of tikkun olam, repairing the world. When we do these things, we act as God's messengers and help to bring God into the world. Then, maybe we can say like Jacob, this is the house of God. If you want to study Torah, come on over to Temple Kilat Chaim every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. for a lively discussion on the weekly Torah portion. Bye now.